Hi guys. So being on a mobile phone plan is a rather common thing in Singapore. So everyone has a mobile phone plan, maybe a $39 iPhone plan or whatsoever it is. Um, this is something that we can do uh, because there are situations whereby you got your plan up to its full two-year contract. It ends and technically you can sign and continue your plan, a recontract as they call it, and then get a new phone. But let's say if you have already a phone that you like using it, and uh, in my case it's my Mi 3, which is rather old already, so I'm gonna change it, but uh, I don't intend to or I'm not able to get the next phone that I wanna use through the local telco that I get. In my case, I'm getting a Mi Note 3, but Singapore doesn't carry it at the moment, so I can't really get it through a telco. Uh, so instead, what we can do instead of uh, getting a new phone would be uh, what I would call an iPhone run. And in this case, it's basically um, making use of this recontract uh, benefit to get a new phone, which you then sell because you're not going to use it anyway. And uh, I think it's, a, it's an open secret, everyone does it, and uh, telcos just pretend that it's not happening. Um, but yeah, basically you just go in and then you get a new phone. Come out, set it off at a higher price. So before we begin, essentially you need a few things. You need to do your research. I think research is very important because um, on our end, what we did is uh, we had to go through all the different um, second-hand market and all that stuff to see which phones or which brands of phones has the highest um, resale value. So in this case, um, rather naturally, the Apple iPhones seem to have the highest resale value to purchase price uh, ratio that you can get. So I went with an iPhone. But yeah, that was it. So one, two, so we went over to buy over at Amokyo Hub, me and my mom, because she was free. So yeah, that was pretty alright. So we're heading over to Amokyo Hub to get a new camera. Uh, new camera. Heading over to Amokyo Hub to buy a new phone, to which we're gonna sell because I already got a camera that I wanna use, so a new phone that I'm really using, comfortable with using, uh, so no point. Nine 我們來吧。<笑><笑> 這個就好這個就好 the iPhone run, basically what we're going to do is we'll sell it off to someone else. Phone was bought at 700, we're selling it at about 1,001, so that makes us profit of about $400. How do you pay? How do you pay? How do you pay? How do you pay? How Take the profits and the most logical thing to do is go shopping. I'm going with my mom to go see Burberry. My mom, my Ah, my Burberry. Kanjian. Kanmei ma. 
请看白灯，才早睡，他们一起来忙。You should do online research before going to somewhere. Uh, it turns out Burberry store and uh, Takashimaya as well. So yeah, so that's it. Um, we essentially really got our phone, we got our money, sold it off. So that's a rather easy way to make a small little profit. In a sense, it's sort of like a bonus that they gave to you. Their unofficial way of uh, paying back to whoever gave their two years to them, in a sense. I would rather they have a new plan whereby I can just sign, recontract it and then they give me a $500 cashback. But I'm asking for a lot, right? So, yeah, I mean, this is something you can do once every two years if you're hungry for those money. So, yeah. Some people do it like once every year. For me, the penalty of recontracting within a year is a bit unnecessary for me. So, I don't really see the point in it. I'd rather save more money, earn more money. It's a little bonus at the end of the year, which is good because technically you can, I don't know, use it to buy some turkey or whatsoever shit it is. If it's Chinese New Year, you can use it to stock up your CNY Ang Pao money and all that stuff. So yeah, enjoy. Uh, if you've never done it before, I think you should try. It's rather interesting, especially if you're into phones like this and not phones like that this and that. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Try cola. Come on. Come on. Come on.